Hey guys, us again. Um, also for Easter, since Easter's around the corner, um, if you wanted to make something to put on your hot cross buns or if you're doing some sort of meat, like whether it's beef or chicken or turkey or pork, instead of using you know your barbecue sauces, your tomato sauces, you can make some really nice home fig jam, which I did, and figs are in season at the moment. So I've literally, I've been lucky enough to pick these figs off my tree. And I don't take the skin off them. I use it, I just wash them really well and I cut them in half and I put them in a, um, a, a saucepan with some water and I just let them cook and took through. So you cover the figs just with the water and let it cook until it gets thick. And for myself, I don't add sugar to my jams. So to thicken them, I actually, to all these figs, this amount of figs, I probably would add it two tablespoons of chia seeds that I actually add to the figs as I'm stirring them um, with the water. We will we'll put the recipe underneath, so don't stress. Um, and then what I do is you get some sterilized jars um, and you make sure when that's ready, you actually store them in there. So you don't actually need sugar with figs because they're so sweet. Yeah. So sugar is used to thicken. So instead of thicken it to make it a nice pectin, so if you can have a look at my jam, which I probably can't open. No, Deb, do you want to try and do it? Um, and you can see it comes out really, really nice. It's just really nice and thick, and that's with no sugar at all. It's just used with chia seeds. Simple, quick, easy, hot cross buns, meats, biscuits, cookies. Make some oatmeal cookies, put jam in the middle, cook them up. Fantastic. Recipe below. Have a good Easter. Bye.